Remember this show? The lights, the music, the brutal walk-off. Yes, the host may have changed age, race and gender, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Welcome to The Weakest Link. There are eight famous faces behind me, all here to raise money for charity, and presumably because they've got some sort of book to promote. They're each aiming to bank £50,000, but we'll have to work together as a team. Seven will leave with nothing, as round by round, we lose the player voted the weakest link. Let's meet the team. I'm Marcus, I'm a comedian from Ballam, gateway to the south. I'm Rita, and I'm an actress from Hertfordshire. I'm Jamie, I'm a sweetie maker and TV host from West London. I'm Nikki, I'm a TV presenter and radio broadcaster, and I live in West London. I'm Baba Tunde, I'm a comedian from Hertfordshire. I'm Yvette, and I'm a TV presenter and author from Manchester. I'm Tony, I'm a DJ on BBC Radio 2 and one or two other stations, and I'm also from Hertfordshire. I'm Chunks, and I'm an entertainer from North West London. Now for the rules. In each round, the aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your target within the time limit. The target for round one is £2,500. The fastest way to get there is to work together to create a chain of eight correct answers. Get your question wrong, you break the chain, and you lose all the money in that chain. But if you press your button and say bank before the question is asked, the money is safe and you begin a new chain from scratch. You've got two and a half minutes for this round. We'll start with the person who is most likely to get an acoustic guitar out at a house party. That's you, Tony Blackburn. <laughs> Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Tony, in music, the abbreviation R&B, which refers to a genre of pop, is short for rhythm and what? Soul. Blue. Incorrect, it's blues. Chunks, if a photo taken with a phone held vertically is described as portrait, what L is the corresponding word for an image taken horizontally? Landscape. Correct. Marcus, the 2007 reality TV show featuring the sisters Kim, Courtney and Chloe is titled Keeping Up With The What? Kardashians. Correct. Rita, in football, the card used by the referee to communicate that a player is being sent off is what primary colour? Red. Correct. Bank. Jamie, in the George Orwell novel Animal Farm, the characters Napoleon and Snowball are what type of livestock? Pigs. Correct. Nikki, look at your screen. What is the name of this type of hat? Fez. Correct. Baba Tunde, in words, what P is both another term for student and the area at the centre of the eye through which light enters? Um, eye. Incorrect, it's pupil. Oh. Oh. Yvette, in cinema, which fictional nanny with magical powers was portrayed by Emily Blunt in a 2018 feature film 54 years after Julie Andrews played the role? Mary Poppins. Correct. Tony, in UK politics, the team of senior government ministers that meet to discuss policies is called the what? Wardrobe or cabinet? Cabinet. Correct. Thank Chunks, in language, what name for a round container used for cooking is the word top spelt backwards? Pot. Correct. Marcus. In maths, what is 21 plus 12? 33. Correct. Rita, in skincare, the abbreviation SPF stands for what protection factor? Sun. Correct. Bank. Jamie, according to a common proverb about the value of possession, a bird in the hand is worth two in the what? Pocket. Incorrect, it's bush. Nikki. in pop music, what C, that is the title of a 2014 UK top ten single by Sia, is also a type of decorative hanging light. Chandelier. Correct. Baba Tunde. In European geography, located in the Pyrenees Mountains, Andorra is bordered by France and which other country? Germany. Incorrect, it's Spain. Yvette. Bank. In memoirs, oh. what is the surname of the former politician who published the 2013 autobiography titled Strictly Anne? Bananas. Incorrect, it's Whittacombe. Time's up. You banked £600. You could have won £2,500. My question to you is, what is your problem with charity? Uh, <laughs> try, and, <laughs> try and put a shift in, guys. All right? Uh, so, who thinks Coldplay is the outdoor version of Softplay? 
Who thinks Meghan Markle is rhyming slang for sparkle? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. It's a slow start for this team. Babatunde is the weakest link with no correct answers. But who will be the first to go? Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Tony. Baba. Babatunde. Babatunde. Tony. Tony. Baba. Babatunde. <laughs> uh, Tony. Yes. Obviously, you're a legend. Broadcasting legend, I thought to myself, I said to the guys, we talked about it, we said, <laughs> let's lead with a music question so we can start on a high. Have you heard of the new genre, R&B? <laughs> <laughs> has that, has that not come know, across to any of your broadcasts I don't know yet? what made me say soul. Yeah. It's obviously blues, yeah, rhythm and blues. Yeah. I, I mean, don't know, but when, when you ask me the question, your mind goes blank. Sure. My, my mind is blank most of the time anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, but, I mean, not. it just went blank. It would I... have to go pretty blank for you to think that Soul started yeah, with being I know. Though, I mean, that was... I, I mean, know. It... I feel so ashamed. Jamie, why did you vote for Babatunde? Because... Because <laughs> he said I. <laughs> it's his pupil, and he got two wrong. Again, lovely guy, but he is the weakest link, and that's the okay, point of the game. Jamie, that's my so, thing oh, to sorry. say. <laughs> you, don't, 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 just, sorry. Do you want to just... I was, I can't build up your part, mate? Yeah. Uh, Chunks, uh, why did you go Babatunde? Well, we got two questions wrong, um, and the concept of the game is to get them right. Yes, so, thank uh, you. Gonna have to vote. For him. <laughs> no, no, he's my friend. I'd love him, but sure. No, I mean, yeah, but not that much of a friend. <laughs> Sorry, so, uh, Baba Tunde. Hello. How do you feel that went? Terrible. Mm. <laughs> very, very terrible. You took what felt like an eternity yeah. to answer that question. Yeah. And then you didn't even look like you knew that you were going to be able to make a noise yeah. at that point. You just sort of went, eyes? <laughs> just bearing in mind, just bearing in mind that the word I was in the question. It's very rare that we say, could you please repeat a word that's yeah. in the body of no. the question? Yes. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, but you seem like a nice guy. Uh, it's been, listen, I've really enjoyed getting to know you for the 30 seconds that I have done. <laughs> so, uh, Baba Tembe, with five votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I'm sorry, mate. No, it's cool, man. Just was, it was such an easy question. Come see me in the, the O2. I, I don't yeah. think I'm gonna. I don't no? think we'll be. I don't think I'm gonna stay in touch. But take care, mate. <laughs> Off you go. The first question in particular, my mind really went blank, and I knew what the answer was. But instead of saying pupil, I said the whole. I just said I because I, just, just, I didn't know what was going on. I think Chunk should be voted off next because he laughed at me when I got my question wrong. <laughs> Round two. You've won £600 so far out of a possible £2,500. Seven players are left and we're taking ten seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Chunks. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Chunks, in golf courses, what B is a type of hazard that consists of a hollow which has been part filled with sand? Birdie. Incorrect, it's bunker. Marcus, in cinema in the 2006 film Casino Royale, the actor Daniel Craig made his debut as which fictional spy? James Bond. Correct. Rita, in history, the gunpowder plot conspirator arrested in 1605 in the cellars of Parliament is Guy who? Fox. Correct. Jamie, in food, in the name of the common sandwich, the letters BLT stand for bacon, lettuce, and which other ingredient? Tomato. Correct. Nikki, in royal buildings, the official London residence of the monarch, which is situated at one end of the mall, is called what palace? Buckingham. Correct. Bank. Yvette, look at your screen. What is the name of this children's TV character? Chubby the Clown. <laughs> Incorrect, it's Mr. Tumble. <laughs> Tony, in the 1960 Harper Lee novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, the characters Atticus, Jem and Scout have what surname? Partridge or Finch? Partridge. Incorrect, it's Finch. 
Chunks, in pop music, the singles titled Dog Days Are Over and You've Got The Love are by the band called Florence and the What? Machine? Correct. Oh. <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> in fashion, <sighs> traditional blue jeans are typically made from which cotton twill fabric that takes its name from a town in France? Denim. Correct. Rita, in Japanese culture, what O is a decorative art of folding paper into shapes and figures? Origami. Correct. Bank. Jamie, in the UK, the area of West London that gives its name to a carnival that first took place in the 1960s is Notting what? Hell. Correct. Nikki, in the Highway Code, the national speed limit for cars driving on UK motorways is how many miles per hour? 70. Correct. Yvette, in language, what T is both the surname of the 45th US president and a slang term meaning to break wind? Trump. Correct. Tony, in food, which condiment of dilute acetic acid is typically used alongside salt as an accompaniment to fish and chips. Vinegar. Correct. Bank. Chunks. In TV, What L is a detective series that was first shown in 2010, starring Idris Elba as John and Ruth Wilson as Alice. Luther. You were out of time, Luther. Oh, is that right, though? It was correct. It was Luther. <laughs> you can't look after me? <laughs> so, out of a possible £2,500, you've put in the bank £1,250. I mean, it's better than the last round, but to be fair, last round was shambolic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, next time you want to do something for charity, maybe, like, try a fun run or something, guys, OK? <laughs> <laughs> so, who thought The Crown was a drama about dentists? Who thinks Legoland is an actual country? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off The Weakest Link. A much stronger round, with £1,250 in the bank, but with wrong answers from Yvette, Tawny and Chunks. Let's see how the vote goes. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Yvette. Tony. 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 Chunks. Oh. <laughs> Yvette. <gasps> Town. Well, Chunks, well, you got very excited yeah, yeah, yeah. about yep. being the strongest link. Yeah. I feel like it went to your head a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I asked you a golf question <laughs> yeah. and you said the only word that you know that's in golf, which is birdie. You said B as well, bro. I it's did convenient. say B, so at least you got the alphabet right. Do you feel like it went to your head a bit? No, it did. It really did. Yeah. I'm going to be humble from now on. Yeah. <laughs> just, just try and... Sorry, mate. ...internalise that okay. and think about that going forward. Will do help me much. to help you be better. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Yvette. Yes. Uh, you were faced with Mr Tumble, and you obviously didn't know who that was. I've never seen yeah. it. So yeah. don't go chubby the clown. I mean, don't <laughs> insult the bloke. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just... That was... I, I didn't say... The question wasn't, please be horrible about this children's <laughs> TV presenter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the photo. Say something nasty about him. <laughs> I can't believe I said Trump the clown. <laughs> Have I ever seen him in real life? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I think he'd be looking for you, cos yeah. one thing about Mr Tumble, he gets angry very easily. I don't know if you've seen his show. My favourite show is Mr Tumble Takes Revenge, and I, I think you're going to be in it. <laughs> Uh, Tony. Yes, sad moment. Everyone, everyone that voted for you was very sad, weren't they? You had a 50-50. Yeah. Atticus, could it be Finch or Partridge? And yeah. you went Partridge. Ironically, quite a Partridge thing to do. Uh, <laughs> how, did you, how did you feel about that? Well, I, I never really recovered from the um, R&B, really, did I? <laughs> no. I mean, that was a, that was a real yeah. down you said moment. That, you said that early I on. I never, never actually no. recovered from that. Yeah. It threw me. I was depressed oh. after it. Oh. And there was no way back. Uh, okay, well, look, I'm very sad because Tony, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> just so you know, DB is also its drum and bass, yeah. just in case R &B, you get that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. To be voted off the weakest link is uh, not the greatest thing in the world. I love quiz shows, but unfortunately, I'm no good at them. And uh, so I proved it today by being voted out the second. I think the rest of the team probably held it against me slightly for getting uh, R&B wrong, which I don't blame them. It was a stupid mistake and one that I will never, ever live down.
<laughs> Round three. You've got £1,850 out of a possible £5,000 so far. In this round, we are upping the stakes. Not only are you down to six players with another 10 seconds off the clock, but the target is now £5,000. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Jamie. Oh! oh hello. <laughs> I would say too much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Jamie, in card games, a player who wins a round in bridge is described as taking a what? Trick or treat? Trick. Correct. Nicky, in football, which Scottish-born manager won 13 Premier League titles with Manchester United? Ali McCoist. Incorrect, it's Alex Ferguson. Yvette, look at your screen. Which 2006 film musical is this? Oh. Pass. Dream Girls. That's it. Chunks, in Royal Customs, what B is a common nickname for the yeoman warders who guard the Tower of London? Border control. Incorrect, it's beef eaters. <laughs> Marcus, in geography, the islands of Crete, Corfu and Rhodes are part of which country? Greece. Correct. Um, Rita, mm. in crime fiction, the 2005 novel by Stieg Larsson that is the first instalment in the Millennium series has the English title, The Girl with the Dragon What? Tattoo. Correct. Thank you. Jamie, in pop music, the singles Get Your Freak On and Work It were UK top ten hits for which American-born rapper? Uh, um, uh, 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 get jiggy with it. <laughs> Incorrect, it's Missy Elliott. <laughs> Nikki, in travel, if a train leaves at 8.30 and takes one hour and 15 minutes to reach its destination, at what time does it arrive? 9.45. Correct. Yvette, in Greek mythology, the weaver named Arachne was transformed into what creature? The griffin. Incorrect, it's spider. Uh, Chunks, in reality TV in 2021, the contestants Millie and Liam won the seventh series of which dating show? Love Island. Correct. Oh. <laughs> Marcus, in the human body, what word for part of the leg shares its name with the term for a baby cow? Calf. Oh. Correct. Rita, in UK geography, what E is the national park that covers parts of Devon and Somerset? Egg. <laughs> Incorrect, it's Expo. <laughs> Jamie, in books, the name of which day of the week precedes the words Murder Club in the title of the 2020 Tuesday. debut novel? <laughs> Time's up. It was incorrect. It was Thursday. Oh. Out of a possible £5,000, you put in the bank just £250. So, who thinks Saturn's Rings is a jewellery shop in Bolton? <laughs> <laughs> who thinks a plain naan is just a boring Asian relative? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Now, Yvette had a terrible round with no right answers. She is the weakest link. But it wasn't just her who got questions wrong. Let's see what the vote says. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Chunks. Chunks. Yvette. Mm. Yvette. <gasps> Chunks. <laughs> Yvette. Oh! Well, Rita. Uh, you've got an interesting strategy. I don't know if you're aware of your strategy. So basically, every time I come to you to ask a question, yeah. your face I... is like <laughs> you've just witnessed some sort of heavy trauma. <laughs> but my highlight from you was you just sort of... <laughs> what E for Exmoor, you just went, eh, and then hoped that the guttural noise would be the correct answer. Egg! I think it's the <laughs> longest time I've, it's taken anyone I've ever heard to say egg. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Yvette, mm. have you done a lot of those sort of quiz shows? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the decision to take 30 seconds to say pass was an incredible I'm one. Sorry. It was amazing. <laughs> I was still trying in, to In, in, in a it. timed round, you were like, I don't know this, so I'm going to take as long as I possibly can to confirm that I don't know. No, it. but you know when it's on the tip of your tongue? No, I know. And, there, and when, there, I, there, when I gave you the answer, you said, I know that, but unfortunately I can't give you a point I'm... for sort of saying, <laughs> I know for that. confirming that you know the answer that I've just given you. Uh, why did you vote for Chunks? 
Uh, because he got, um, <laughs> he said border control. I can't believe he said that. Border control for his ass. <laughs> when it should have been a beef eater, it just yeah. made me laugh. But to be fair to him, he said it quick, didn't he? Yes. And he did give an answer. <laughs> he did, and he said yeah. it with confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Chunks. Yes. I feel like sort of early on in the proceedings, you kind of really, another B word, you kind of buzzed off being the strongest link early doors, and then that has kind of. But I'll be honest with you, I yeah, got go one on. out of two right. I've got two wrong. Right. So if we're talking <laughs> maths now. Sure. <laughs> I should be here. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, as you can see, Yvette and Chunks have both got an equal number of votes. So, in this situation, we actually go to our strongest link from last round to decide, and that is you, Marcus. Now, Marcus, you voted for Chunks. You can change your mind. Do you want to stick with Chunks or change your mind and go for Yvette as our weakest link? Actually, it wasn't till Chunks said he got one right and Yvette got both wrong, so I am going to change my vote, Yvette. <coughs> Whew. Mm. Yvette, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Well, it was a really bad round. The fact that we only got £250 is really embarrassing. I have never seen Mr Tumble. I don't watch children's television, so I have no idea who this person is. And I just have memories when I was a kid of a clown called Chubby the Clown. So that was the beginning of the end for me. Round four. So far, you've banked £2,100 out of a potential prize money of £10,000. There are just five of you left, and we're taking another 10 seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from our last round. That is you, Marcus. Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Marcus, in Roman numerals, the letter X represents what number? 10. Correct. Rita. Bank. Look at your screen. This is a feature of which London sporting venue? Lords. Correct. Jamie, the internet prank known as Rick Rolling involves tricking a person into clicking on a hyperlink that leads to the music video of a single by the artist Rick Who? Martin. Incorrect is Astley. Nikki, the annual film festival at which the Palm Door is awarded is held in which resort city on the French Riviera? Cannes. Correct. Chunks. In footwear, what E that is derived from the name of a coarse grass native to Spain and North Africa is a type of canvas shoe with a braided rope sole? My brother, come on, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Incorrect, it's espadrille. <laughs> Marcus. In business, the abbreviation AGM used to describe an event at which directors of a company may update shareholders stands for annual general what? Meeting. Correct. Rita. In the UK, the clocks go back one hour and British summertime ends in which month of the year? October. Correct. Jamie. Frank. In TV, in 2021, which presenter replaced Nick Hewer as the main host of the long-running game show, Countdown? Um, Jimmy Carr. Incorrect, it was Anne Robinson. <sighs> Nikki, in New York, what B is the name of the Manhattan Street that passes through Times Square and is synonymous with the theatre industry? Um, Brooklyn. Incorrect, it's Broadway. Chunks. In recent history, in 2010, 33 people were rescued after being trapped for over two months in the San Jose mine in which South American country? San Jose, where's that then? Peru. Incorrect, it's Chile. Marcus. In music, the Pulitzer Prize winning rapper who had a UK number one album with Time's Up. Out of a possible £5,000, you banked. 350. <laughs> Even for celebrities, that was dreadful. So, who wouldn't even get into Hufflepuff? <laughs> who thinks Rumpelstiltskin is a German bread? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Well, Rita is the strongest link in this round, but with two wrong answers each for Chunks and Jamie, this one is hard to call. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Chunks. Jamie. Uh, what? Chunks. Nikki. Chunks. 
Jamie. <laughs> well, as we said, another terrible round. Uh, Nikki. Yes. Have you had many disappointing visits to the Theatre District of Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only B I could think of spur yeah. the moment, so yeah. rather than pass Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. it's the new up and coming area yeah. for Theatre Land. Uh, Jamie. Yeah. I, can I just say thank you? Because of the way that I'm hosting this, yeah. I've completely blanked Anne Robinson from your mind <laughs> yeah. entirely. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Thank well, you. I couldn't, I couldn't think who it was. Mm. And no, I know, I got that because yeah. you, sort of, <laughs> you took age and then gave the wrong name. I, I, I knew that's what had happened. Yeah. But yeah. what we have to remember is I banked quite a lot. Banked, I think, more than half of the money in the account. So <laughs> thank you. Okay, but you said it in quite an irritating way, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, why did you vote for Chunks? Yeah, listen, Chunks and I have a bond, but. He, he he got two wrong aspergils, come on. You got two wrong as well? Yeah, but you didn't bank anything. Mm. Yeah, so. OK. Uh, Chunks, does it feel like you feel the bond as strongly as Jamie does? No, I'll be honest with you, I don't know I'm more hurt about him voting me or him spelling my name wrong. That, that's what hurts, to be fair. Um, yeah. Well, that's why I like... I'll, it's with a yeah. Z. <laughs> <laughs> I think the S is softer. That's <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to rebrand you. Yeah, he is, to be yeah. fair. We'll talk, yeah. we'll talk off camera. Yeah. But, um, what was the strategy behind uh, when you didn't know the answer to the question, just saying, come on, my brother? Did you want me to just... Like, help me, because um, I'll be honest with you, those questions were ridiculous. Mm. ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, yeah, ready to leave, brother. San Jose, no clue. Well, listen, <laughs> Chunks, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. It's been a journey, Chunks. Oh, we'll link up soon after. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Jamie, I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually devastated to be here right now. Embarrassed, almost. I feel like Jamie was positioned in a good place so he could bank because you have very smart Marcus and Rita next to you. Whereas I had Nikki, uh, no disrespect, I love Nikki, but, uh, well, she didn't do great either, did she? Round five. So far, you've banked a total of £2,450 out of a possible 15000 There are only four people remaining, and another ten seconds are coming off the clock. But the target is going to increase again to £7,500. Let's start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Rita. <laughs> Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Rita. In racing, the horse that won the Aintree Grand National for the second consecutive year in 2019 has what name? Tiger Rock or Tiger Roll? Tiger Roll. Correct. Jamie. In chemistry, which element with a name that comes from a Greek word meaning greenish yellow is used to treat swimming pool water? Chlorine. Correct. Nikki. The 1889 painting titled Self Portrait with Bandaged Ear that is housed at the Courtauld in London is by which Dutch born artist? Holborn. Incorrect, Van Gogh. Marcus, in 1911, the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen and his team were the first people known to reach which pole, north or south? South. Correct. Rita, according to a seven-word rhyming poem by the US writer Ogden Nash, candy is dandy, but liquor is what? Bitter. Incorrect, it's quicker. <sighs> Jamie. In baking, the sweet paste, called marzipan, is typically made using which seed eaten as a nut? Uh, uh, um, pumpkin. Incorrect, it's almonds. Nikki, in celebrity memoirs, which former EastEnders actor published a 2021 autobiography titled From Rags to Ricky? Oh, uh, I can't think. Dot Cotton. Incorrect, it's Sid Owen. Oh. Marcus, the name of which of these American music festivals is a word that means extraordinarily impressive? Lollapalooza or Coachella? Lollapalooza. Correct. Bank. Rita, in UK politics, which Labour politician was Prime Minister between Tony Blair and David Cameron? Gordon Brown. Correct. Bank. Jamie, in geography, what K is the volcano in Tanzania that is the highest peak in Africa? Time's up. The correct answer was Kilimanjaro. Out of a possible £7,500, you put in the bank just £500. I don't know what is going on here with you lot. So, who thinks the Labour Party is another name for a baby shower? Who thinks Blue Peter is Peter Andre's nickname when he's sad? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. 
With all of his questions correct so far, Marcus is easily the strongest link. Nikki is the weakest, but it all comes down to the vault. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Nikki. 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 Jamie. <laughs> Marcus, I haven't really talked to you a lot. Hey, man. So far, lovely to have you on the show. But yeah, the good reason to see I haven't you. spoken to you is because you've got 100% of your questions correct. Yeah, very fortunate there's been no questions for me about sport. Right. Did you Have you prepared for this? No. You're just generally. Well, I mean, we say prepared. I mean, I've had a very entitled life. Yes, no. <laughs> so in that respect, yes. yeah. 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 Yeah, you got that vibe. I mean, though. literally all the advantages <laughs> from as far back as I can remember. So, yes. Uh, Jamie. Hello. Still here. Still here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Marzipan. That's tricky. Come on. Because you started the question with marzipan. I was like, oh, I know about marzipan. Sure. And then you went to nut, and then that was frustrating because there's lots of nuts going on. And so then I got confused. I was going to say pistachio, so I and said then, pumpkin. So let me get this straight. I said marzipan, yeah. and you went, I know marzipan. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't know it's almonds, what do you know about marzipan, how it's spelt? I mean, I, I don't know what you're... It's just... What well, I just, you know... Thing is, I think as a new host, you slightly mumble a bit, so I can quite... Oh! oh. oh. I didn't, well, I didn't mean that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So kidding. you... <laughs> Couldn't so, quite hear it. So that because... Was... Well, you could say pardon, couldn't you? But instead you said pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Nikki. Yes? When asked who uh, wrote the autobiography from Rags to Ricky, you made the unusual decision of plumping for a fictional character. <laughs> Love Dot Cotton. In Dot Cotton. Yeah, always up there for me. That would always be... Always up there. Though. That would be the book from Rags to Dot. Yeah, but after Rita, I always think of Dot Cotton. <laughs> so that was the answer. Um, well, look, uh, Nikki, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to say. With three votes, I'm afraid you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Thank you. I hope they raise loads of money for the charity. I'm delighted that I've made it halfway through The Weakest Link. It's amazing how nervous you are. You're standing there with people that you might know, we're all having a bit of a laugh, and then it comes to you and Romish says your name and you're like, <gasps> now it's my turn. Round six. So far, you've banked £2,950 out of a possible £22,500. Only three of you left. Another 10 seconds are coming off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Marcus. Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Marcus, in the 2004 film Mean Girls, the character Karen says the line, on Wednesdays, we wear what? Tights. Incorrect, it's pink. Rita, look at your screen. Which Scottish-born architect designed this window? Tony Hart. Incorrect, it's Charles Rennie Mackintosh. Jamie, in maths, what is 45 divided by 5? Uh, 9. Correct. Marcus, in tennis, in 2021, which Belgrade-born player won the men's singles titles at the Australian Open, the French Open and Wimbledon? Pass. It's Novak Djokovic. Rita, in pop music, what one-word greeting is the title of different UK number one singles by Lionel Richie and Adele? Hello. Correct. Jamie, in animals, which small bird of prey that belongs to the falcon family shares its name with a legendary wizard? Maltese falcon. Incorrect, it's Merlin. Marcus, in jewellery, what pea is a lustrous gem that is formed within the shell of an oyster or mollusk around an irritant such as a piece of grit? Pearl. Oh. Correct. Rita, in royalty, the remains of Richard III were discovered in 2012 beneath a car park in which English city? Oh... Uh, oh Lewisham. Incorrect, it's Leicester. <laughs> Jamie, in theatre, the song I Dreamed a Dream is originally from which 1985 West End musical? I Dreamed a Dream... Uh, um, uh, Les Miserables. Correct. Marcus, in science, what tea is a common name for the device patented in 1876 by the Scottish-born inventor Alexander Graham Bell? Telephone. Correct. <laughs> Time is up. Too late on the bank, I'm afraid. Oh! You won nothing in that round. So far, you've won £2,950 
out of a possible £30,000. In the next round, not only does the money go up to a possible £10,000, but you get the chance to double what you bank, which means there's £20,000 up for grabs. So think very carefully about this next decision. Who thinks Stormzy is something you hear about on the shipping forecast? Who thinks Sudoku is a martial art invented by a woman called Sue? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Oh dear, that was a disastrous round. Marcus got his first questions wrong and no mummy was banked. How will this final vault go? Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Rita. Marcus. Rita. Marcus. Um, I knew there'd be a sports question eventually. Yeah, yeah, I gave you praise. Yes. And then I regretted it. Yeah. Because not because you got the answers wrong, but I just felt like I, I affected you somehow. It turns out you're two weak spots, sports and the film Mean Girls. I it's haven't better. seen Mean Girls. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Why did you vote for Rita? Uh, I... Th mm, uh, yeah. Because you know, It's very awkward when they're right next to you. It's been easy to vote for the ones over there. Oh, is that why you were picking off people yeah, from that side Yeah, because they're, like, they're over on. there. You yeah, don't feel yeah, like yeah. they can get you, but she's mm. been right next to me the whole time. To be perfectly honest, it was the length of time uh, on, on questions, not knowing the answer, it was that. Uh, Rita, how passionate are you about bestowing city status onto Lewisham? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I knew it was an L, because I remember him anyway. Yeah. yeah, I said Lewisham. That was yes, sure. yeah. <laughs> and um, listen, I'm sure that Tony Hart would have designed a window if he didn't spend so much time sort of knocking about with Morph. You know, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. I loved a bit of Tony Hart, so I knew it wasn't him. But can I just say, on behalf of all of us, your artwork oh, throughout the show has been absolutely has impeccable. So thank you so much You're for that. You're very welcome. No, thank you. Means a lot. So, Rita, with two votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Tony Hart would actually have been proud of your artwork. It feels kind of a relief to be voted off The Weakest Link at this point because I don't think I could handle the finals. The, the right person to win must be Marcus, but I'd kind of like to see Jamie win just because it would be funny. Round seven. So far, you have won £2,950. This time, you have just 90 seconds. Whatever you win will be doubled, meaning this round is worth a possible £20,000. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Jamie. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Jamie, in cinema, Leonardo DiCaprio won an Oscar for playing a fur trapper who survives being mauled by a bear in which 2015 film? Reverend. Incorrect, it's the revenant. Marcus, in food terms, a part of an egg called the albumen is also known as the what? Yolk or white? The white. Correct. Jamie, look at your screen. This is located in which ancient city? Uh, uh, Egypt. Incorrect, it's Petra. Marcus, in sport, which Welsh-born wheelchair racer who won 16 Paralympic medals was made a dame in 2005? Pass. It's Tanny Gray Thompson. Jamie, in pop music, the singer Ariana Grande had a UK number one hit in 2019 with a song titled Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm What? I'm single. Incorrect, it's bored. Marcus, in canines, which dog breed that has a white coat with dark spots is named after a coastal region in modern day Croatia? Dalmatian. Correct. Bank. Jamie, in names, what W is the forename of both a war poet with the surname Owen and the child born in 2020 to Carrie Simons and Boris Johnson? Secret sin. Ugh. Incorrect, Wilfred. Marcus, in religion, gods called Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva form the triple deity of supreme divinity in which major world faith? Hindu. I'll accept that. Bank. It's Hinduism. Jamie, in children's pastimes, the game Conkers is typically played using the seeds of which tree? Uh, 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 conquer tree. <sighs> Incorrect horse chestnut. <sighs> Time's up. You won £500. We're going to double that and add it to your winnings from the previous rounds. That means the total prize money tonight is £3,950. But only one of you can take that money away for your chosen charity tonight. 
You're now going to be playing against each other, head to head. I'll ask alternate questions. It's the best of five, and whoever answers the most questions correctly wins. It's as simple as that. If there's a tie after five questions each, we'll go to sudden death until we have a winner. Marcus has the strongest link in the last round. You get to decide who goes first. I'll let Jamie go first. OK, so Marcus and Jamie for £3,950. Let's play The Weakest Link. Jamie, in Milestone Birthdays in 2021, the broadcaster Claire Balding, the singer Gary Barlow and the designer Stella McCartney turned how many years old? I am going to say it is uh, 50. The correct answer is 50. Marcus, in 2017, the skeleton of a blue whale, nicknamed Hope, replaced a model of the bones of a dinosaur as the main exhibit in the entrance hall of which London museum? The Natural History Museum. The correct answer is the Natural History Museum. Jamie. Easy. <laughs> in New York landmarks, the date inscribed on the tablet held in the left hand of the Statue of Liberty is the fourth of which month? May. The correct answer is July. Oh, I just meant that. I meant that. I don't know why I said May. Marcus. In film, which Oscar-winning actor has played characters called Captain Kidd, Captain Miller and Captain Phillips? Tom Hanks. The correct answer is Tom Hanks. Jamie. In music, although spelled differently, what word is the title of an album by Fleetwood Mac and a 2021 single by Lizzo featuring Cardi B. Life. The correct answer is rumours. Marcus. The non-fiction books titled Notes from a Small Island, A Walk in the Woods and A Short History of Nearly Everything were written by which US-born author? Bill Bryson. The correct answer is Bill Bryson. Jamie, if you get this question wrong, Marcus wins. The aristocrat, born in 1885, who married Winston Churchill and became a life peer at the age of 80, shared her first name with which citrus fruit? Lemon. The correct answer is Clementine. Oh. Congratulations, Marcus. You are tonight's strongest link. And you win £3,950 for charity. Which charity is your money going to? Arts Emergency, please. Lovely. Jamie, you leave with nothing. That's all from tonight's show. I'm Ramesh Ranganathan, and whatever you do, don't be the weakest link. Goodbye. To get to the final is, like, bittersweet, cos once you get to the final, you want to win it. And I didn't win it, and I lost by saying lemon. That's embarrassing. It was all right playing against Jamie in the last round. I mean, I, I enjoyed Lemon Churchill very much, very much. The idea of them being announced. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Sir Winston and Lemon Churchill. I thought it was lovely.